So who was that dude who wandered in nude? Earlier this week, we showed you a clip of a man who accidentally video bombed a TV interview with political commentator Dick Morris. Let's see it again. Well, I think Trump is going to score a huge victory. I think the media is going to try to downplay it because, as you correctly said, they're basically <laughs> supporting um, uh, Ron. They're basically supporting Nikki Haley. Now, like anyone who saw this, we had so many questions. <laughs> Dick Morris declined to give us a comment, so we were left to speculate on what the hell was going on here. Where was he exactly? Who was that man? Why was he in his underpants? Could Dick Morris have been taken hostage by a retired plumber? <laughs> and why can't that plumber afford a sports bra? What is going on? I need to know what you think. So uh, they're getting ready to work out. Just to work out, Greg. Just a little Greco-Roman wrestling with your favorite workout buddy. Nothing to see here. And he, he's coming from, like, that's not like another room. Is that like the garage? Yeah, or I don't coming? know what's going Did on. He, just... he looks like he just worked out, but for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you only put on this type of shirt when you're about to be arrested. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but after we did the segment, the man, the myth, the legend got in touch with me. And he's joining us tonight to tell us exactly what happened. Please welcome Doug DiPirio. So, Doug, how's your week going? <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> That's just great, beautiful. I love it. They weren't underwear, first of all. They were shorts. I'm I in Florida. That. You wear shorts and a tank top. <laughs> okay. How did this happen? What happened? All right. So I'm with Dick Morris all the time. I'm his guy. You know, I, I set up the, the backdrop, backdrops for him, and. When I set it up, he was going to do the, the poll thing in Iowa. And I said, Dick, you got to put the, the, the camera on an angle. You got to put it on an angle because I'm going to be coming in and out of, the, out of the house. And of course, when I walked in, I opened the door and I saw he was on. I go, I could shut the door and then it'd be like some freak dude opening the door, shutting the door. Hey. That'd so, be better. So I just walked in. And then later on, he goes, oh, I go, first of all, First of all, the social media put me out there as, oh, well, this guy's Dick Morris's gay friend, the pool boy, whatnot. I was upstairs with my girlfriend. I got to say that. She's friggin' hot as could be. Upstairs, having a nice time. It was great. I'm telling you. Been working on my motorcycle, because I got to work on my motorcycle. You know, I'm not... And I walked in. I go, all right, Dick. We just... Let, let me tell you, Dick Morris is absolutely, you guys know him, he's a genius. He's politically, he's the most unbelievable guy around. But he's like Rain Man. You know, he can't screw a light bulb in. But he's one of the nicest guys, my best friend. You know, and I told him, put the camera on an angle. And he didn't. So what am I going to do? This is life. Yes, it is. Was, um... Was Dick annoyed because I kept calling him all day? I must have called him seven, yeah. eight times. <laughs> I was there when, when you called and he said, you called me five times. And I, can, I got a, a contract with Newsmax. I go, Dick, you could have been a little nicer about that. You know? <laughs> not, not for nothing. He goes, eh, we're going to do it. Like, all right. So, but I called you because... You know, the social media, they just went. And my friend from, from uh, Manhattan calls me up, Maddie. He goes, hey, Dougie, I don't know. They're talking some bad stuff about you. You, can't, you gotta do something about this. I said, ah, what's the big deal? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Matt. Maddie you on you. <laughs> you know what's amazing is if I never heard your voice by just looking at you in the video, I would predict this is exactly how you would sound. <laughs> Do you, no. Um, <laughs> do you have any, um, have you thought uh, about, uh, to, like, turning this into some kind of commercial for profit venture? <laughs> I could see coffee mugs, <laughs> coasters, t-shirts. I got the perfect face, I got the perfect face for radio. I'm on the, I'm on the Dick Morris show on Sunday, 12 to 2. Mm. Uh, the Dick Morris show, I'm on with him. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So you're kind of like. We have a good, we got a good time. 
Yeah. So I uh, do plan on uh, yeah. um, kind of like intruding in other uh, Zoom TV appearances. Yeah. I think you should make it a regular thing. In I don't think I'm going to do that. I was actually thinking about oh, bring different people in. Yes. You know, my, my tall friend, my short friend, other different people. And that'll do it. That'll be good. So you could tell, you could tell my accent. I'm from uh, Yonkers, New York. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you, um, did you, uh, do you, have you ever met President Trump? You, were, you worked at Mar-a-Lago, right? Yes. I, I, I'm his artist. I've been restoring uh, all the murals at Mar-a-Lago for him. And uh, we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him in, in a while, but last year I was there a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'd see him almost every morning, mm -hmm. and he'd walk around. Dick Morris says, you know, he likes you because you talk like him. <laughs> He's going to not like that. Yeah, He's yeah. not going to like that. <laughs> well, yeah. listen, listen Doug, we'd love to have you on again. You could probably be, like, maybe our fashion correspondent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you like that? Oh, you mean with the, the, the wife beater. Got it. Got <laughs> exactly. Oh, by the way. Yeah. And by the way, your glasses, yeah. where'd you get it? From Mr. Magoo? Or what was the... <laughs> nice, nice. I'm sorry. Oh, I, no, no, I, I can't, deserve come on. it. I deserve it. You got it. You, you were, it took this with such uh, great humor. I was so scared when I saw the, the phone message. And then, I, <laughs> and then I heard you laughing on that. I go, okay, this guy got it. <laughs> Thank you, you're Doug. Like that, you're like that genius hacker. You're the genius hacker <laughs> with the glasses. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Talk to you soon. Up next, will Gen Z go far if they can't drive a car? <laughs> that was good. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.